is we're going to go ahead and explain to you that we have actually a contest going on. And this contest is really cool. What is it about? Well, actually, uh, you wouldn't know it by looking at that. But what I'm doing is I'm going to go ahead and have a, um, a little bit of a, uh, an essay contest again. It went so well the first time many years ago. And uh, we gave away an essay contest house, but it went well for everybody, not necessarily for me. And, and because um, really what happened was I ended up not getting enough people to enter. So this time we're going to do it different. We're going to actually create a situation where you guys can actually come and learn how to build them and be part of the seminars. And if you do that, you're going to be able to go ahead and learn how to do construction of a tiny house. Now, you may want that tiny house to be a chapel so you can make a living off of it. Um, and you could win this salvage chapel if you enter at the $200 range. But that's going to be a tough one because it's going to be a thousand words. It's going to be possibly you don't have to make it in video. You don't have to do an audio, but you can. And it's not necessarily done alone. You could do it with somebody else. It could be your spouse. It could be your family. The idea is to do an essay good enough that you could win the second house we built and you get to come and pick the pieces and help put it together or watch it get put together by the people who are entering the second contest, which is going to be the same thing. It's going to be a bottom level $100 prize where you get to win some things, but also you get to participate and learn and come to the seminars as part of it. Yeah. Now you're going to have to pay if you're going to stay here a little bit. You might be staying in one of the houses. We have houses here to stay at. They're air conditioned with bathrooms and showers. We have a bathhouse so you can camp out. You can bring an RV um, and spend a weekend and be able to participate. You could also come from out of country and stay here and go to Austin in the evenings or San Antonio or if you want to drive all the way to Houston because we're in the middle of all of it. About 45 minutes to Austin. 45 minutes to San Antonio. So we're going to make this a schedule where you can work a few hours each day, maybe six hours. And then you can actually have some study time. And then in the evenings, we're going to try to have some get togethers where we can sit down and talk about more than just how to build a house, but how to salvage your body, how to youth again, how to get healthy by grounding, diet. And we may even have some Wigong classes or some yoga classes by some of the participants. But the idea is over the period of time between September 15th, when the first meeting is going to happen and the big decisions at the end of the year, about Christmas time, we're going to announce who all the winners are. But in the meantime, we're going to have some seminars. We're going to have some group meetings. We're going to be putting it together. Yeah. And you're going to get to help if you want. Now, the first meeting is September 15th. The way this is going to work, anybody who wants to participate will get their subscription. If it's a charter membership, $200, then you're going to be able to enter at the $200 level besides getting all the benefit of the libraries of 650 articles and enormous amounts of discounts. But you're going to be entered that way. Now you can go ahead then and participate in, if you want, writing your essay over the next few months. But on September 15th, we're going to have a gathering of all the people who have entered. That's at the $100 level. That's at the $150 level and at the $200 level. And it's going to be a Zoom meeting and be online. You don't have to come here. If you do want to come here, we'll be picking out the parts we're going to build the first chapel with. I'll be I'm showing some of the parts ahead of time, but this will be a chance for everybody to see it. And then we're going to spend a few days designing, showing how we're going to build it. And everybody that's participating in the essay contest at that point will be able to see too, because I'll be recording those. I'll be posting them on Substack. I'll be doing um, blogs and articles so I can show others how to do this. Because in the end, this is a business. It's either a business about how to build tiny chapels, how to build tiny houses, and not to build them on the trailer, but to build them to go on the trailer and to come back off again. So that, that way you don't tie up a trailer. So we'll have a fleet of different styles of chapels. If you're at the $150 level and you're one of the winners, you'll be able to go ahead and start marketing, uh, using them for marriages and using for baptisms and using those for ceremonies and maybe even funerals out on the ranches and the farms in other places, even homes, where people want to have a spiritual structure with energy in it to celebrate and to create memories. What I want to offer you is memories, but also the skills. It might be your children, your grandchildren. We need to have other people that can build these, and then they can transport them all over the country. Have chapel, we'll travel. Wedster, at your service. I will send out people to wed your people, and they'll be approved. They will be guaranteed they won't be drug addicts, guaranteed they won't be pedophiles, guaranteed they won't be rapists and 
all the other horrible things that might show up on your property that a chapel should not bring. So we're going to have an Ayurveda. We'll have a, something based on more of an Eastern or Asian perspective with a little bit of a Hindu flavor to it or um, a Buddhist flavor, you might say. So the ceremonial is a little different. Christianity, Muslim. The idea is that everybody should have a place to meet that's out of the storm and out of the wind. So if you plan your wedding, hey, guess what? You can still have it. You'll have a little chapel on the site. Then you can have people outside and have your reception. And as you come out of there, they can throw rice and bless you. And a few people, key people, will be able to sit inside. So that's what this is about. Want to help me? I need some help. I want to go ahead and fund a bunch of things that we have going on by creating this new line of business for people to learn how to both make tiny houses, tiny chapels, and that way, when your mama needs to come back home, you know, 58% of the people now are living back with their family. That's the highest since the Depression in 1930s. Yes. So as people come back and live together, we should be able to have tiny houses as master suites. Yeah, we come in and we share the kitchen. We share the bathroom. even expand the bathroom a little bit. If you don't have more than one, you need them. And then we'll have tiny houses, master suites. That's what I do. And for 10 years, I've lived in a master suite called Temple Tantra. Please go online and check it out. It's one example of... One of the houses I want to build is a traveling chapel. It'll have a gypsy wagon look to it. European. They're really functional. Um, just like the Western. You know, the wagon, the pioneers. We'll have one like that too. So please join me. Give us some thought. I want you to go ahead and be part of what I'm doing. It's all about having this little tiny chapel and building something that we can have for a long time. If you go to the site right now, tinytexashouses.substack.com, you'll be able to see what's in front of me, the levels of entry and such like that. Now, remember, you can't do this if you live in the wrong country and it's illegal. You got to come to Texas to pick up your prize because in Texas, it's legal. You could even leave it here in Salvage, Texas. I talk about that in the longer tape I'm about to put out. It's a video about 45 minutes long that covers all sorts of detail. So please, this is short. Hopefully this is sweet and you'll share it. The other one, maybe not. It'll be longer. But honestly, think about this. Once upon a time, I built Forget Me Not Chapel. It was for friends I had that I lost, like my son, Adam, in a love story. Chapels are for memories, weddings, special times, funerals, praying to God that it'll get better. And it does. Daylight always follows night. We're about to go into a dark spell with lots of storms, lots of lightning, lots of thunder. Just if you have faith, it's going to be all right. We will thrive. Be one of the light beings. Be one of those that light the way through the darkness and show there is a positive at the end. Even though it looks pretty negative for some in the middle. Let's go ahead and thrive with the possibilities of using salvage, no imports, no toxins, to build communities intentionally for the little babies coming in that are miracles, geniuses arriving to save our planet now that we've opened the doors. Abortion is gone. Babies are coming. Let's make tiny baby villages non-toxic and free thinking. Let's educate them in a way that'll make them powerful so they can be the wonderful leaders I believe we're gonna need in 25 years. Thank you so much for helping. Thank you so much, if you will, consider subscribing. But on top of everything else, please share. And for change, click on the bottom. Let me know you watched it. Leave a comment. I really do appreciate it. Thank you so much. You all have a great day. Bye. Here it is. Ding. 